Hello everybody and welcome back to Shift Happens. We are hanging out in Washington, D.C. and seated next to me is Steven. He is also here, obviously, at Shift Happens, but what brings you down to the show today? We're just really excited to be working here with uh, Avpoint, one of our great partners. They have a lot of wonderful technology, a lot of great people, and, uh, and just excited for the opportunities they're bringing for us and, uh, and the rest of the uh, IT uh, community. Yeah, this is the first, what I assume will be inaugural, uh, Shift Happen Conference. Everything is going well so far. But how do you play into the Avpoint ecosystem? And just tell us a little bit about what you guys do. Sure. So we are an IT company that kind of provides services based around um, Avpoint and other third-party software. And we love Avpoint because they are very partner-friendly. They hmm. allow us to go help other members of the community, uh, both federal and private organizations, to really do lots of great things with their technology. Interesting. And so what is that? Like, are you more federal or are you more private entity or how do you, how does that work? We, we typically do more in the public sector. We have customers that are both in the federal as well as the state and local space. Um, and, and we find that those customers tend to gravitate towards the Avpoint suite because they have challenges mm -hmm. like the automation of some of their governance processes, sure. like uh, trying to understand where their PII information mm -hmm. uh, might exist and, and trying to maintain that it does not get released uh, out there. Um, records management is a really big topic right now in the in the uh, federal government, and so those are some of the the challenges that these technologies that Fpoint provides um, are helping the federal government out with. Gotcha. And so, why records management? What is what's what's driving that conversation? Sure. So there was a, a mandate put out by NARA, and it's going to be um, part of 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 their need to or all the federal government organizations need to be compliant by 2019 mm -hmm. um, for some of the records and then uh, there's another mandate for 2022 and with those two mandates in place there's a huge push right now to you know get these federal organizations compliant as quickly as possible and Avpoint solution is spot on the best one out there to do uh, for these federal agencies. And gotcha. And so what type of compliance are we looking at here for these documents? Is it anything like really specific based on the data or how does that work? Yeah, I mean, they're looking at, at specifically digital records. Okay. Um, so, you know, they're not worried about every article that's in an organization right now, mm -hmm. but they're, they're trying to start with with the, the digital records and then they're going to move on from there for the 2022 mandate. So there's they're, they're, they've got a, a, a runway that they've put forth okay. for the federal agencies to try to get into compliance. Gotcha. And so that is that's all federal agencies. That's going to be that's quite the movement then. It, it's huge. It's huge. And, and I think there's a lot of organizations out there that are on pace to get yeah. complete. And there's others that are, are probably um, lagging behind right now. Um, but I think we're going to see we're going to see a huge shift um, with these technologies and, and, the, and the government get in that direction as quickly as possible. Gotcha. And so what are we going to see on the other side? Is it just more of better security or once everybody makes the shift? I think it's again, it's it's part of of the whole idea that we're trying to um, make sure that that documents that are supposed to be saved um, are and they're done yeah. in the right way that they're retained the, with, with proper controls in place mm -hmm. so that if there ever needs to be a data call, if they ever need to get that information back, uh, sure. they can do it easily and in an organized fashion. Gotcha. And then where do you come into the equation? Are you helping company or help well organizations transition? Is that where you're yeah, we're, we're a deployment partner, so yes, gotcha. we're, we're helping with the installation and configuration of the technology. Um, with Avpoint being, you know, a, a very unique product, you know, mm -hmm. there's certain skill sets that are required to do this properly. So, yeah. so coming to a company like Ascendra would allow you to get some expertise in the deployment of this specific software that you probably don't already have in your organization. Gotcha. And what are some of those challenges that people are seeing? Is it just configurations based on the data type or where it's stored? I, yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, I think in, in some respects, the organization doesn't always know what they need okay. or how to do it. And so coming to, you know, a company like Ascendra or any other partners of mm -hmm. Avpoint would allow you to guarantee at least some level of expertise um, with both the technology as well as the processes yeah. involved to successfully deploy it, um, thereby saving the organization time and money. Gotcha. And that's what it's all about because that migration process, while we all like to think it's you just click a few buttons and everything happens, I think we both know that's pretty yeah, far we, from the we truth. We would love for that to be the case, but generally speaking, there's it's, it's more involved than that. And yeah. We've talked with a lot of people about migration today, everybody from Microsoft to yourself, and Microsoft always has a very pretty 
rosy pictures like you go to the website you, you punch in your information and your outlines and your scenarios and it's just done and then you just clap your hands and walk away but we all know that's very far from the truth that, that's correct and while while they're trying to simplify the process while all organizations are trying to simplify those processes um, mm -hmm. yeah there's there's still lots of little steps and, uh, and and sometimes it's not a challenge that an organization would want to do on their own it, it, it you know, it behooves the organization to spend a little bit extra time, money, preparation to make sure it's done properly. Yep. And so what is, if people want to find out more about what you do, you know, what's the best way to get in contact you and, and when's the right time to contact you, honestly? Well, I mean, I, I think it really depends on, on the current timeline you have. It's never too early to start thinking about it. Mm -hmm. um, we can be reached at www.ascendra.com and uh, go to the website there and, and you can reach out to us directly. I think if you have an initiative that you're looking at now, um, the quicker you start thinking about it, the quicker you start preparing for it, the quicker you start um, organizing your own workforce to help to, to solve that problem is going to be better for you. Um, again, sometimes it can be done quickly. Yeah. Um, other times, again, it could be you know a six month or a year plus type project. And, and you never know until you start kind of peeling back the layers to, to fully understand what exists inside that organization, what those specific challenges might end up being. Awesome. Well, um, I, was I was trying to think if there's anything else, but I was actually going to ask what else besides we talked a lot about document records management. What, what else is happening in the federal space? I, I, think, I think in federal, the other one that we're seeing quite a bit of is, is compliance. You, you know, yeah. with with Wiki, with WikiLeaks and those types of sure. scenarios, um, you know, there's a big challenge to to not want to be on uh, the front page of the newspaper yeah. in a bad way. Right. Um, tools like AvPoint's Compliance Guardian mm -hmm. allow you to help protect yourself, right? It'll go out there and scan data within your environment, whether it's a SharePoint site, whether it's a website, whether yeah. it's a file share, and, and look for specific types of PII um, and other types of information that, that you wouldn't necessarily want to mm -hmm. be out there. And so, so that's another great tool that we're seeing a lot of interest in, in both federal and state and local government um, to help protect that, that organization from uh, having data out there that they don't want people to see. Yeah, and I think you hit it right on the head. You don't want to be on the front page of the newspaper because you leak that information. That is, exactly. that, is the, that is the quickest way <laughs> to not have a good day. Exactly. So if people want to learn more, can you give us that website one yeah, more time? So it's www.ascendra, A-S-C-E-N-D-R-A, Dot com. Great. Thanks for taking your time out. It's been a busy conference to everybody else. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you right back here next time. It's been great. Time. We'll be here all day tomorrow as well. So please come on out and join us.